Hi, I'm Andy. I'm the guitar player and singer for the Moon Caravan. What's up, people? I'm Memo from Venezuela, drummer of the Moon Caravan. I'm Daniel and the bassist, second vocals. Okay, so uh, how long have you guys been together? Uh, well, we've known each other since we were 14 years old. Uh, we reconnected here in Miami uh, and then we were been playing for I, I what? Met, I, met Andres, I, met, I met Andres uh, in uh, 2011. They, they know each other since uh, a lot of time ago. They were kids. Oh, so how did you meet Andreas? Yeah, we went we went to a gig of a Venezuelan band called La Vida Boheme, and we just randomly met over there. Yeah. Turned out I was looking for a bass player, and he was a bass player. So that's how it started. So uh, after that night, we kind of uh, got together and jammed for a bit, and it worked, and we started started playing with a previous drummer. Uh, his name was Jose Suarez. He was in the band for about, uh, what, for like a year? Yeah, kind of. And then he left and we were drifting for a bit. And I reconnected with Memo that, you know, I have played with him. Okay, uh, Asher wants to know, is there any reason why you guys are so far away from each other? Does one of you have leprosy or, or not? No, no, no okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> there you go, it's there. even better. Is that better? Much better, perfect. <laughs> okay, so, um, uh, is this your first, uh, you have an EP? What do you, what do you have out right now? So, uh, we started, we did a, a double single. That was the first thing we did. And it was uh, called This Was An Atmosphere. It was on two sides. And then we got an EP out uh, last year called The Feeling of Getting Lost and Being Found that we're going to be releasing for free pretty soon. Um, and uh, yeah, we are currently working on a new material. We have one last week coming uh, next week, and then we're probably gonna stop playing for a while when we get the record. Where are your musical influences? Well, it goes from Fela Kuti to Radiohead to bands from Venezuela, La Vida Buen, Los Amigos Invisibles. Yeah. Yeah. Film scores too, and video games. Oh, video games. Video games, which ones? Uh, Zelda. Zelda. Oh, so that's your Zelda. Nice. That's old school, man. That's when I was a kid. You guys, I'm like 20 years probably older than you guys. <laughs> Are there any themes that you like to sing about? So, uh, the current, the only current team we have in, in the band is basically how s small we are as a species, just floating on a little planet, and we think we're the center of it, but we're just really not. And that's, I guess that's the only recurring theme, like, realizing how how everything is, how we take everything for granted. So and it's a very, like, philosophical So, yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I, you know, I'm a huge fan of philosophy, and that's a lot of philosophy. You know, I, I listened to your song, Crumbs, online, and that's what I got from that, how small we all are, right? Yeah. And that's what you're saying right now. Um, what about what about the songs you performed tonight at, at Winwood Life? What, what can you say about them? So um, we actually recorded one of them, uh, Americanized. This was a cool song. We actually recorded it pretty recently. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Uh, we recorded at this garage. So yeah, it's I have all, a, it's all garage. Uh, it's a true yeah. garage band, right? Yeah, yeah. I have a little studio set in the garage. Come with like we had decent results over there. So yeah. Probably the first, the first EP, the EP yeah. was a uh, recorder over there too. Yeah. yeah, well now with the competing power you have available, it's not really a garage band so to speak. It's really a yeah. studio, right? Yeah. I mean, you Pretty you can get the results that you want. Yeah, we don't say we play in the garage, we say we play in the studio. Right, right. Yeah. How do you want to evolve? How do you see your band evolving? So I see the band having a, another member, maybe, at some point, or somebody that helps us uh, to to bring some of the, of the more uh, ambitious ideas that we have for songs. Um, and we are certainly evolving into a more funky kind of uh, danceable music, but we want to keep, you know, the core of psychedelic rock and, uh, and yeah. just rock and roll, you know? Yeah, like we, it's, like we can say something, we can say that we're going to a certain direction, but then not really because it's very likely for one of us to come to the next rehearsal and have a, an idea that's completely off to what we said last time and we just go for it. We're not going to stop just because we said we're going to have a, a, a musical direction, you know what I mean? So it's not, we can say something, but it's, it's not that we're going to follow it by the rule. Right, so are you guys kind of like, there's not 
somebody who's quote unquote in charge. It's like you're all a collaborative team. Was that? Oh, you're in charge. Yeah. Yeah. We're supposed to hit yeah. those. I mean, anyway, so I'm hitting uh, hitting that drum uh, thing while he was singing. I'm playing time. guitar. I was yeah. like, wow, what is he doing over there? Yeah. So, it, can you talk about the percussion element you bring aside from the the lead vocals and some of the lead guitar? He stole it from me. He stole yeah. it from me. Those are all his his percussion stuff, except for maybe the shaker. Yeah. He's using my shaker. My yeah. shaker. So we're even. So um, right. <laughs> Like five things. Um, yeah, we have one. you know we have a lot of influence from from South American bands like Los Amigos Invisibles that they have this you know Latin feel kind funky, of going on, funky Latin music with lots of cowbell and thing. And we also like a lot of uh, LCD sound system, and they have a little bit some time for that. So we try to merge a little bit some of the stuff that we bring from South America with some of the new things that we've discovered. Do you consider yourself more Latino or more American? Uh, after yeah, I think we are uh, Americanized Latinos. <laughs> <laughs> like her. <laughs> oh really? Oh, so you're one of those like Cubano white Latinos that everyone thinks are white. There. Exactly. <laughs> I know. Cubano Irish over there. Oh, yeah. There <laughs> Where are you from? I'm from here. My mom's Cuban and my dad's Irish. Ah. Nice. Um. So, so what's the next uh, gig you have? We have uh, on the thirtieth. Yeah. yeah. No. No. It's, it's not. Next oh, week. Next week. What was the question again? What's <laughs> <a, laughs> Perfect. He's already got it down. You already got it done. Re, reboot. Okay. What's the we're next playing, week you guys got? We're playing next week at the Statue for Lauderdale. Uh, we're gonna do also a funky set. Uh, we have, we tend to have two different sets depending on the crowd. We might throw in a little surprise on one of you know, the last song, Satellites. We're gonna, we're gonna do a Colombian ending next week. <laughs> Yes. See what's up. A Colombian ending? Yes. Is that like a necktie with the throat that slit? Sounds, no, no, what's the... That sounds like the wrong thing. Yeah. It's like F, like DEA okay. in Colombia. We are, we... Wait a minute. Hold on. No, no. Wait, no. Music. We're talking about music. Okay. <laughs> uh, what what do you guys think about Winwood Life tonight and performing here? Is this your first time here? Or? It's our first time here and it's amazing. Uh, they've treated us super, super well. Uh, and all the other bands have been amazing to us. It's like, we're all going through it together, so it's pretty cool. Um, I've had, I kind of walked for a little bit around the, uh, me and Daniel, around the, the vendors area, and they have some pretty nice food. The food is amazing, yeah. too. So yeah, it's yeah. too late. If you're looking at this right now, it's too late. You gotta come next year. <laughs> yeah. Next year, okay? I wanna yeah, see you here. You're missing out. You guys know about Second Saturday over here? Hmm? Second Saturday? The art walk. The art walk? Oh. Every second Saturday of the yeah. month. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, you've been around that? You've done that? Been there, done that. Many, many times. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, where are you all from? Where you all live in Miami? Um, I live in Miami Shores. I live on I mean, it's Buena Vista. It's a little bit north, like I 54th Street. People, I, people I, think it's inside this street, but it's actually Buena Vista. I live where the winds come back. <laughs> oh, all right. It's Cooper City. <laughs> Cooper City, all right. Yeah. That's where the kosher food comes back, I heard, yeah. right? I don't know, it's, it's, it's really far. <laughs> that is far. So what are the challenges of being like, a, you know, an up-and-coming band? What, like, what, what, do you, what do you see as like your biggest roadblocks to getting where you want to be? Work? Just a nine to five, it's, it's, sometimes it's hard, especially for me. I work with events. And like this past five, six months, it's been brutal. So, you know, sometimes I don't have time or the energy to just go and play. So this uh, is your full-time job? Mm -hmm. your full job? No. Like, you know, uh, we have day-to-day -day jobs. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, a, do do? I'm a visual designer and I do UI and UI for websites. I work in a event company. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. Get super depressed. I don't blame you because, like, your ultimate goal is to do this. This is yeah, your love, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that stuff is just to keep you afloat until you reach your goals, right? I yeah, mean, we've been we've been lucky enough, you know, we to have a, a label backing us. We're working with a local label called Drunk, uh, Gumdrops, and they are super, super amazing. And they were they got us uh, at this spot to play here. Yeah, they got us here. So what's like your ultimate venue plan? What's your ultimate venue plan? Is probably Madison Square Garden. I'm from New York, so I, I've been there like a million times. I can I can empathize. I can understand it's, that. You know that place where um, 
you can see from someone from Pink Floyd to like Celia Cruz before. They'll probably... So you prefer like large scale versus like the intimate setting? It's, the thing about Madison Square Garden is it, out of the larger scale, it's one of the most like intimate. So that's, I think that's kind of like maintains the balance. I like to play anywhere. There's nothing, there's nothing cooler though than playing in a, you know, in a bar that's packed with people. Yeah. And having a good craft beer. So yeah. it's, yeah, exactly. It's like, it really depends though on the, on the set. Yeah, so. I think you can get a, an awesome experience anywhere. I mean, obviously you, you gotta be comfortable with, yeah, you know, we, with the we, sound and stuff, but that you can achieve that. Yeah. We've places. played, we, we played in, in small venues and we play like shows like this and it's just, it depends on the crowd and depending on the energy. We just like to have fun and play music. Yeah. yeah. We love it anyways. I mean, nobody could show up and we still love it. Oh yeah. 